I'm Mackenzie Strickland, I'm an animal care specialist here, and I work with reptiles and amphibians. And this is a Vietnamese mossy frog. You can find them, of course, in Vietnam, but you can also find them in parts of northern China. And these guys are very different than a lot of other frogs in the way that most people kind of think of frogs as having pretty smooth skin and um, toads as having kind of more rough or bumpy skin. Um, but these are frogs that have bumpy skin. Now the reason for that is because they use their camouflage to blend into moss. And so they do have more of a textured appearance simply because they are supposed to look very much like moss. Amphibians are kind of different than a lot of other animals in the way that they start out life in the water. And uh, water is definitely needed for at least some part of the beginning of their life cycle. Mossy frogs, they lay their eggs above the water. They actually kind of look like clear jelly. And then that embryo is going to develop into a tadpole and then of course fall into the water and begin swimming. The froglet stage is um, after the tadpole stage. So the tadpole starts to develop back legs and then it starts to develop front legs and then it loses its tail. And along the way, it kind of becomes um, more noticeable to be a specific species of frog. Now let's take a look at this adult male. Now this is the one we had at the very beginning. We'll get a closer look at him. Now you may be wondering, well, how do you know that this animal is a male? So he's dark in color. He's a little bit smaller than the females would be, around 20% different in size, give or take. So it kind of varies a little bit for individuals, of course, as well, because of genetics. But if you look at his little front feet, you're gonna see something that looks kind of bulbous. That little bulbous callus that you see there, it's kind of pink in color, but it can vary from um, kind of light pink to darker pink to even a reddish coloration for mossy frogs. And that's called a nuptial pad, and that's actually used to hold on to the female during the process of mating. We actually keep them at a good breeding temperature all year long. So that yields them um, producing offspring for us pretty regularly throughout the year. Um, just above the water on branches that we have in the exhibit or on the back wall, um, you're gonna see some clear gelatinous eggs. And those eggs, um, between the time that they're laid until the time that they hatch, it, it's only about a seven to 14 day period. So a week to two weeks from um, an egg to actually becoming a tadpole and swimming around in the water.